Hey there, I am back. Let's see here. Oh. Alright. Let's get our bearings here. Alright, looks like I'm trying to build up a frigate fleet to go start some attacks, I think. Once I get these armories done. Let's establish a good trade route here. I don't think I want to go to Denmark, because I believe they might be the first ones I attack. So let's go somewhere else that's the most beneficial. At first, let's see if anybody would like to have a trade route with us. Buenos Aires, but we're already allies, so I'm going to wait on them. So let's go over to Ethiopia with that ship. On one turn until we get a, uh, the World Congress convenes. See here. If you go up there to those sheep. City state back in here. Alright, Setsuba has already built an armory, so. Get started on a frigate there. A windmill would be nice too, though. Need to get these frigates going. Yeah, let's see here. He wants to pay me for open borders. Let's see if he'll pay me two. Alright. I'll just tell him I'll refrain from settling because I really will, and he's friendly with me. We have a declaration of friendship. Okay. Need to make sure when I declare war on him, I'm not still friends with him because that will ruin some diplomatic relations with other countries. Well, he can be friendly with me, but I don't want to have a declaration of friendship happening. And I'm get all kinds of stuff is getting stolen from me, and I have. in there and a constabulary lord oh well Sydney pleasure to protect them and let's see here Guess I could use a work boat and then start working on a frigate okay I'm going to put everything I have, which is two into sciences funding. I would like that to happen. I would also like to be able to trade with city-states, because once I start going on the war path, no one's going to want to trade with me, but... Uh, I would rather have sciences funding for now. Maybe later I, I can be powerful enough to repeal the... Uh, Embargo on city-states. Oh, for God's sake, city-states passed and science funding not. Well, that was double bad. First time I've had that hard of a fail on uh, the World Congress. Okay, so I'm not going to trade with them. You can go to... ...one guy, because we can't freaking trade. The city-states. Actually, this jungle can't be worked by any city, so I don't really need to be going over to improve it or anything. That can be improved. And... Yeah, you definitely go here. Weird that I got a long swordsman instead of a samurai there, but I'll keep him. Stay on alert, I guess. Okay, now frigate time.
And forget time for you also. Time to make a new proposal. I might go for a world's fair here. I'd like science's funding, but it looks like four other civs are against it, so there's no way it'll pass. Yeah. A lot of people usually like for that to happen though, so let's go with that. Got some good happiness rolling. Yeah, I'll go ahead and be friends with him because I don't plan on attacking him until maybe the end because he's got two capitals under his control. But whenever the Denmark one runs out, it's over. We're good. Some fishing boats up. Mosque has been purchased. Pastor going there. Let's go with this. Great scientist is faster. Where am I anyway? Industrialization. And yeah, I'm not going to pay you for open borders because I don't care. At least I don't think. I guess I could explore his lands. He wants me to go to war with Sweden, which I don't want to do quite yet. Can I take over? Looks like Ethiopia, Denmark, England's probably on the coast. Yeah, I can take England over. City's starting to come around. Yeah, let's get a farm up there. I want these four cities to be rather large. But this one. I only want it to be big enough to kind of work all these, so one, two, three, four, five. Maybe get a university let it later. Uh, nope. We're going to war soon, buddy. I hate to tell you. I will let you pay me for some. Industrialization based on machinery, already referred to as a characteristic of our age, is but one aspect of the revolution that is being wrought by technology. All right. If you pick up a starving dog and make him prosperous, he will not bite you. This is the principal difference between a dog and a man. <laughs> Great. Let's get some bombardment. Shoot some land units with this guy. That I'll come out to here and just kind of park it. Is there a way to tell how many? He'll die. I don't know when that declaration of friendship ends. Oh well. Okay, we got a new spy. Is anybody uh, further along than me? Does not look like it in science, is what I meant. So, uh, leading in production and science, which are, in my opinion, the two best to be leading in. And Mongolia has the best army, and I've got one of the worst. I'm working on it, but I'm sure I look like a tempting target to some of the AI. Right, let's go work that tile there. Need to send a worker out. You hear either that or just buy one. Alright, this guy wants to move. Alright, in Kyoto. 
another frigate rolling. And I think I will go with scientific theory now for once. Now I can upgrade those crossbowmen into Gatling guns. Whoa. He wants a research agreement. Uh, he's going to be my main enemy in the end game, I believe, but. How about just that? Crap. It's like... There we go. Alright. The reason it costs more for me is because my techs are costing more than his since I'm farther ahead than him, so I consider that to be worth it. Techs, of course, cost more science as you go further along. Okay, so here I need to get this iron first. Six iron, so that's definitely worth it. I'm not going to even need that many frigates, considering a good half of the civs don't even have uh, coastal capitals. So I'm going to have these people start coming around and come into this city. And what do we got here? with another frigate. Let me get a granary up for you since you're in the desert. Okay. And I forget to upgrade my crossbowmen again. Alright. This guy's gonna like me. Oh, and they've declared war. Well, we could get to a point where I've got to take over this whole continent to win the game. Fine by me. So maybe Ethiopia is the first one I should... Oh my god, I've only got two trade routes now because of barbarians. Ah. Continue. I never moved him. So since I shouldn't even bother trying to steal Tex, and I've got one in my capital, I guess I will work on some city-state, uh, becoming allies with city-states. And I guess Bucharest is the one right now, or Bratislava. Brussels. Put him in Bucharest, though. So, on your way. And let's see here. So one, two, three, three frigates, or five on the way. Get another one. Have this one come around. Remember here, it's expensive to do that. I'm losing my trade routes. That's sick. People can't keep barbs out of their waters.
Trireme is going to get messed up if he goes to war with one of these frigates. Of course, I'm sure Denmark doesn't even see this attack coming. So, oh, he's got some coal. Forgot I should have looked for coal myself. I don't think I have any. Alright, got the porcelain tower. Things always seem fairer when we look back at them. And it is out of that inaccessible tower of the past that longing leans and beckons. Alright, I get 50% more science generated in research agreements. I forgot I was building that. So when uh, that research agreement ends with Genghis, I'll get a big boost compared to him or anybody else in the game. I'll make one with a naval promotion just in case. But yeah, let's... Actually, let's all go down this way. And Denmark has some ships on my side, but they're triremes, and I really don't care. Um, 19, 23, 17. Yeah, you know what? This is actually a pretty good spot to set up shop. Let's see here. I do want a Musician's Guild, I guess, eventually. I don't really need it, though, as much as some other things. So, I'm going to go with one more frigate. Then I'll try to replenish my trade uh, ship supply. There's some coal. Good God, I can't get that, though. I don't have any freaking coal in my empire. I guess I will. It'll be three, though. I have to go on the rampage just to get some coal. Okay, let's start working on some cargo ships again. Let's see, don't care about that, don't care about that. How much gold you got? Four per turn, Jesus Christ. How much wine do I have? One? Sorry, man. You can't afford it. Knowing I've got the extra wine. I see I can't trade with him either. Because I'm planning on going to war with him soon here, so sorry. Holy crap! Mongolia is kicking some ass. Now he can afford it. You know what I'm saying? Seven for turn for you. That's right. Although I probably will go to war with him next. Uh, I might just conquer this whole continent, actually. Which means I'm going to need to worry about some land units as well. I will... There's already that religion, what? I don't know what's happening there. Maybe he sent another missionary. Yeah, that... It's not going to be my own religion for quite some time. But the Holy City, I think, eventually converts back to its original religion if you just let it sit there long enough. But if he keeps sending uh, missionaries and stuff, he'll keep it that way. Of course, if I take over his capital, or I'd have to take all his cities over that have Catholicism in it. Eventually, I can get rid of that religion. Here comes a freaking great prophet. I still don't want to go to war yet, because I believe we're friends. Yep. So I'm going to have to ignore it. So if Zanzibar... Uh, ...gets that coal... ...which I'm sure later they will get that... ...I can... If I'm allies with them, I will be getting that. So I probably want to keep relations with them up. Right now I'm only friends. Barely. But I do believe I want to stay on good relations with them. It'd be easier if I could 
repeal the embargo to city states. Yeah, you're welcome. The people are most people like the World's Fair, so the way the World's Fair works is if you contribute the most production toward it, you get the most benefit out of it. Since I'm leading game and production right now, I should win that as long as I concentrate on it. Uh, it's several turns from now, of course. And we're going to have to vote on it. Science has issued from a new audacity of imagination. <laughs> All right, so... As I get those public schools up, the science should be flowing rather decently. I'm going to put a trading post here because farm is kind of useless. It'll just be one... Actually, cancel that. After fertilizer, I, I think it'll still be okay. Okay, let's sit over here by the whales. Park it on alert. Uh, you too. Let me make sure I... To yeah. I'm going to stay enough away from Copenhagen that he doesn't think something's up. Which, I mean, I guess he should think something's up, but I don't want him to. Alright, I'm going to work my way up to dynamite here. That way, when the land battle gets going, I've got artillery. The reason you want those is because they can shoot from three spaces away, so it makes land attacks a lot easier. And my happiness just dropped to negative one. Oh, she must not like Mongolia. And of course she doesn't like me now because I'm friends with Mongolia. Oh, she just announced Mongolia. Probably because they're on the conquer path. I'm sure they're on their way down here, maybe to Stockholm. Yeah, it might be a good idea to just keep an alliance with him until the end. We well, don't have to worry about him until then. Okay, got that iron. A good amount of iron. Unfortunately, this area kind of sucks as far as food. The city's not going to be growing very well. Kill the Swedish spy, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah, I'm here about that spying cool. incident. Do not spy on us. Okay, get this frigate out of there. Now, who got the kill? I said he was promoted, but he has a... He's not promoted. Oh well. Let's go work on these two desert tiles. You're not going to Denmark. So you're going there. Hopefully you don't get killed. Holy crap, my happiness. Must be losing city-state allies. Ow. Well, so much for uh, anything besides zoos. I need happiness now. Can't go to war with this much unhappiness because uh, once you get to 10 unhappiness, you get a, a strength penalty with your troops. So I don't want that. Go on a zoo here, too. Everyone's building a zoo. They can. You know, dude, I could use that. Wait, okay. That'll help my unhappiness a tad. Mm. 
Jag är Sveriges konung. Du kan ta min mark, mitt folk, mitt rike. Jag kommer att gå till med dig sen, så jag kommer att bli en bitch. I understand why he's stealing, though. And I guess I would if I was in his situation. Trade route plunder. Oh, dear God. All civilized nations against people will recoil from war and discharge their troops. <laughs> yeah, so you thought. Alright, uh. Okay. He used to be giving me gold, now he's giving me salt. Oh, someone wanted salt. Holy crap. Wasn't paying attention to that. I usually try to. Okay, are these some uh, barbarian caravels that were. Giving me trouble. That's right. Another farm going. Zoo here too. Mere dos. Anyone's open borders. Two gold per turn, that's fair. Nein. Oh, can you afford one then, for God's sake? Well, you have it for one since you're pretty much not in the game anymore. You got this. I mean, my God, the poor guy. Mongols had their way with him, what it looks like. Oh, look, I'm not really Catholic anymore. It's a neutral. I like the real Japan. I guess I'm not really religious anymore. Real modern Japan. I guess at this time they weren't. 1680, I think it was Shinto dominant. Shinto Buddhist, maybe. Alright, great artist born. I don't know if a great artist has been born yet. But I can either have him start a golden age or create a great work, which will increase my tourism and my uh, culture per turn. I think at this point in the game, I'm going to use him to just start a golden age. Songhai spy has been killed. Everybody's just getting their spies killed in my country. So yeah, I'm just going to start a golden age because I feel like that'd be more useful than the culture boost since I don't plan on winning by culture. I'm going to get this guy to kind of rank up on these barbarians while they're hanging around my lands. Chemistry is a good one to finish because production will go up. Yeah, I'm not going to forgive you either. I'll probably conquer you after... Uh, Danes. People making me the maddest now are those barbarians that keep taking my trade routes. Or my... Trade ships. Things aren't free. Well, I'm gonna feel my wrath for staying in these lands, that's for sure. Alright. Hopefully he doesn't notice anything peculiar. Head that way. Alright, there goes my timer, which means about a half hour. Alright, so here I need to do a zoo also. Alright, end of the turn, I'm going to end the part here. See you in the next part.